Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we created our sentiment analysis. That was the last uh, AI application that we created earlier. Now we can just finish all our AI applications by just finishing the AI node summarizer. That's what we're going to do next. If you look at our application, it's in the AI, zagao.com, or we created here that the latest version. So in that case, it could be the analysis processes. It's going to be a sentiment analysis. It was here. We write a, a sentence and to see that whether this person is thinking about the positive or negative about this. So that's the sentiment about it. And the next one will be about a creating AI node summarizers. Let's do that. And we go to our cursor. And then we're just writing, let's finish our AI apps with AI node summarizers. Uh, let's create the module. Thank you. So in this case, we write it. And then we said, no problem. Let's go for it. And the cursor started making the to-dos. And then next is to, to see that, can we just create a blue st uh, print structure we discussed before? The blueprint is, tells you about how to create individual productivity apps. And then you can just put them together to create an app with multiple functions. Perfect. And what we do is, right now it's creating the database. That's good and then implementing the algorithms and the view files. And you remember that we create the first model, which is a database. And then the next is the view function to get all the data. And now we're just going to be putting in the front end, which is the model view. And then the, finally, we're just going to be creating the front end, which is going to be the template function. So right now it's creating the view functions. It's right here. So you see here, creating the blueprint, node summarizer, and boom. Uh, by the way, you can spend quite a bit of money for the, this kind of node summarizer, but we do it for free, which is great. And as I was then discussing that, you created, we created all different kind of extract words, calculate the words, and the phrases. It's all here. We created with using generative AI, which also called uh, uh, the cursor, or we call it the vibe coding. That's right. And right now, the final step, we're creating the HTML templates for the summarizer interface. And that's going to be the pretty much about it. I think as a person, I used to write a lot of codes, and I still write, right? There's a lot of benefits to use this AI-assisted codings. It's also kind of a, quite challenging to really fully understand because it's developed so fast. And as is discussed before, I, should, I, I strongly suggest not to use this in your personal or the company computers. Use a separate computers and use there. That'll be easy. And the other thing is, if you're using this kind of comp uh, uh, algorithms, it may be a lot of in memory intensive. If you've been in Windows computers, it may not be so easy to really make this fast uh, done. So in that case, I would highly suggest that you can use either looking alternative like Linux computer to build yourself, or I can help you. Or you can just use something else as a separate computer with a more powerful. So I highly, highly suggest that you mass time if you are trying to do a data analysis in the future. Uh, I suggest that you can use Linux, which has a great capabilities. And using general computers in a very efficiently. So in that case, you should not have any issues in terms of the RAM, in terms of the CPU power. Uh, that should be just perfectly fine. And in the com coming days, I'll be creating a practical Linux applications for AI so that I'm looking forward to uh, just to exchange ideas and to share my experiences with you. So in that case, it's all done. And let's look at the AI analysis here. So the AI applications. So let's see, where is it? AI, 
a node summarizer right here. So in that case, let's just uh, let's just look at this uh, what we created uh, from our pages. Let's say here, and then we're just gonna say summarize this. We're just gonna copy this, all right, and then summarize this. Here you go. Extractive recommended bullet point or the key points so that you can just do extractive let's start that boom so in that case summary is just creating that the blue uh, flask blueprints for the modular applications so it creates the uh, summary it can also create as a bullet point here you go so it creates the bullet points it can create the key points here you go key points key uh, uh, points from there also it can create abstractive it could be language it could be in meeting notes it could create so this is perfect so in that case uh, with this very small amount of time we were able to start from the beginning to all the way to create all these AI applications for you and then I will ask one more thing to to the cursor in the front end let's let's add all the AI applications in the home page too. to because some of them some of the newer modules are missing AI modules are missing yes AI modules are missing in the home page That's good. So we are doing a small tweak on the front end. So I like to see all the AI applications here. That's pretty much about it. So the, let's see the rest. Perfect. I can see the home page has including the newer ones. However, I notice applications show. Oh, it doesn't really show up there. Okay, so it's fixing it. fixing it okay uh, it's been fixed professional layout has been created let's see perfect so in that case it's already updated sentiment analysis launch apps boom it's working fine and the summarizer is working fine here you go just let's go back when we copy this let's see if it is really working well like before we can test it there you go yeah it's working fine and then we go back to here if there's anything with the resume a matcher it's working fine so please check and let me know if there's any issues in the current app or the I'm just gonna be deploying to ai.zagao.com uh, so that if there's any issues let me know if there is any improvement you want let me know and that's pretty much about it thanks for being with us and this was my uh, one of the AI applications that I created for the Zagao uh, YouTube channel and it's been great and thank you so much and see you in the next videos about with the different topics and thank you have a great day